Hey guys, it's Kelsey with High Mountain, and you're about to be put in the crosshairs. Crosshairs is a three-minute report on all things new and exciting in the hunting world. Basically, they're turning me loose on the airwaves about something I am extremely passionate about. Get ready for humor, politics, new events, new products, tips and tricks, and all things outdoors. All this is being brought to you by High Mountain Hunting Supply, North Central Washington's leader in hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. From firearms to fishing and from archery to hiking, High Mountain has the best selection of area-specific inventories of quality merchandise combined with the most friendly and knowledgeable staff anywhere in the regional Northwest. We've based our reputation on quality. If we won't carry it in the field, we won't sell it in the store. Come on in today and find out why we're so much more than just your average gun store. Well, here we are in the first weeks of February, and most hunters I know are going through withdrawals. Big game season is closed, waterfowling's over, and turkey season is still 10 weeks away. Fortunately, our coyotes are out and on the loose. If you haven't had a chance yet to try your luck with these wily little buggers, you're missing out. Not only is it challenging, but it's a great cure for the old cabin fever that just likes to kick in this time of year. Coyotes are located all across north-central Washington, and there's just about as many ways to hunt them as there are coyotes. Just look for a good bit of open country where you have a long, clear view and use an animal distress call. Primos makes a great one that works for our area. Make sure you're downwind and keep a wary eye out. Coyotes are sneaky and can show up fast. For an added challenge try it with archery. Deer watching is also really big this time of year. The animals have moved down because of the snow and they're in the winter grounds. They're in the low areas and you can see them with the snow. It's also a lot of fun to look for antlers. They're starting to fall off this time of year and it's one of the biggest addictions that hunters love to do. If you can't get antlers in the fall, you can at least try to get them in the spring. Remember, hunting is a year-round sport. The more you know about your opponent, the better off you're going to be and the better your chance of actually scoring a real buck in the real hunting season. That's been it for this week, but I'm going to leave you with this parting shot. I love vegetarians. All I eat are vegetarians, except, of course, for the occasional mountain lion steak. Ted Nugent. You've been in the crosshairs with Kelsey Hildebrand and High Mountain Hunting Supply. Have a safe week, keep your powder dry, and when in doubt, empty the magazine. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next week on Crosshairs.